Kirk Jowers with another episode of Ask doTERRA and we have had over 500 volunteers here to help with a service project for the Days for Girls and I'm thrilled to have one of our founding executives Emily Wright with us. Hey Kirk. Hey. <laughs> Emily has uh, been doing a lot of work. We've had her on uh, a couple of different TV stations. They've been very interested to see this kind of community effort. We've had wellness advocates, we've had employees, we've had community members who have wanted to get involved with this great activity. Tell me why doTERRA got involved with Days for Girls. There's countless charities. We, we gave to over 285 charities last year, but Days for Girls is one of the five or six real signature charities that doTERRA has chosen. Why? From the very beginning when doTERRA was, was just a small little company. We were still holding on by our fingernails, <laughs> wondering if we were gonna make it. We decided to create the Healing Hands Foundation. And we decided to lock arms with Days for Girls because it really represents everything that doTERRA stands for. It really is giving freedom to women and empowering women. And as we go out and source our essential oils from developing countries, we realize that not only do they need sustainable income, not only do they need health care, not only do they need education, they don't have means to take care of their, their menstrual cycle. And they're using corn husks and they're sitting on cardboard boxes and they're ostracized from their families. And it just breaks our hearts to see what they're going through. We're able to teach them that they're beautiful, that they have self-worth, to be proud to be a woman, to be proud that they're having a menstrual cycle because this means they get to start the next generation and to provide them with these kits so that they don't have to worry about using dirty corn husks and getting infections and being embarrassed and being ostracized but they get to stay in school they get to stay home and be a part of the community and be proud of who they are I have to admit, uh, my wife and, and three daughters were able to participate in a Days for Girls activity in Guatemala and that was one of the most emotional moments of all of our lives to see the joy that went in. Of course, here we're putting these kits together right. in Guatemala or Nepal or now over a hundred countries that Days for Girls is working. We give these kits out and it's our wellness advocates and sometimes we uh, get to do it as, right. uh, as employees at doTERRA. The joy of the girls receiving it because it changes their lives and to have them it was translated but come and tell us what it meant to them that they could now go to school that the boys wouldn't tease them it's tough being a teenage girl even even here in, right. in, a, in, a, in a nice pretty easy place uh, right. it's tough and for them it, it, it changed their life and so I'm, I'm just grateful that well, doTERRA most, is doing this. And most this. of them are dropping out of school. You saw that in Guatemala where you've got less than 5% are actually girls that are still in school beyond the age of 12. And so it's so important that we provide that education and provide the, the means to keep them in school. And I love that these kits provide, provide that opportunity for them. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us uh, for a special uh, Ask doTERRA. 